Glory to God. Problems get solved in the presence of God. Amen. We thank God for his presence. Amen. Glory to God. We thank God for his, his peace. Amen. Thank God for coming in this place. Changing the atmosphere. Amen. Glory to God. Today is a new day. Yeah. 
God, and if you're here today, you are safe. Amen. 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 You say, you know how in the baseball, amen? You're like, man, here's home plate. You wait, you know what I mean? You wait, you're like, man, I got to get home. I got to get home. They pick, and you slide in there. The umpire said, out. Oh. But Jesus says, you say.
tradition is at work, but the kingdom will prevail. Amen. 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 All these things going on, on. is a man, or oh, you can't do this, why you ain't washing your hands, why you ain't got your suit on, Elder, on. amen. Why you, you know, all these things are profiting nothing. Right. Amen. It says it's just used to cover for the teaching of whatever suits their fancy. Yes. Amen. It says the Lord is looking for relationship. Yes. Amen. Not just saying you're in covenant. It says if you're just saying you are his but you're not in covenant, you're just doing a religious service. Amen. Meaning, oh yeah, I go to church, but my heart ain't in it. I love the Lord, but I really don't. But I want to, you know, do it when it's convenient for me. Tradition. We got to get unplugged from that way of thinking. The kingdom will prevail. It says we are unplugging from the norm of tradition and plugging into the kingdom. In verse 8 it says the people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips but their heart is far from me. Come on. But in vain do they worship me teaching the doctrines the commandments of man. Amen. We can just say with our mouths that we are in relationship and covenant with our lips and not be in love with our heart. Lord, I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord. Whatever. He like, why are you lying? He like, why you lying to me? Lord, come on. Amen? And then it goes on and says, why? It says, because it says, your heart is from Jesus. Far from Jesus. And the message it calls them frauds. These people make a big show of saying the thing right, but their heart isn't in it. They act like they're worshiping me, but they don't mean it. They just use me as a cover for the teaching of whatever suits their fancy. Amen. Whenever your heart isn't in something, it doesn't matter if it succeeds or not. I'm on. Whenever your heart is not in something, it don't matter if it succeeds or not because you don't love it. It says, you get used to just going with the flow instead of being the flow. Come on. That's tradition. You're just going to church. Amen. But you're not being the church. The church is inside of us. So when we be the church and not just go to church, we become the flow. Come on. All the things that's going on right now is because of tradition. Because people are not being the flow, but they're going with the flow. I don't want to just go with the flow. I want to be the flow. Amen. 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 Be the church. Unplug from tradition. Amen. Don't get so wrapped up in meeting, but get wrapped in meeting Jesus as we meet together. When we come here, I always say, disclaimer, if you ain't come looking for God, you at the wrong place. Amen. If you ain't come looking for God, you at the wrong place. So don't get so wrapped up in meeting, but get wrapped up in meeting Jesus as we meet together. Amen. It says, with one together, two together, amen, things can happen. He's in the midst, amen. Ten thousand can go to flight, amen. It's things that we need to do together corporately, amen. It says, meaning is, meaning is just not for church anniversary, uh, Mother's Day, Women's Day, and nothing wrong with that. But that should not be our main focus while we gather. We should just be focused on that while we gather, amen. We got to make sure regions are changed. We got to make sure the neighborhoods are changed. We got to make sure communities are changed. Because we got to let people know we're not just doing this for show. To fit our fancy, amen. To fatten our pockets, amen. Because in, in, in the kingdom, you're a giver. Your pocket's going to be fluctuating. Because when they fill up, you give out. So then they fill up again. We don't want to be a tradition where we're just fat pockets. We want to be givers. Inhale, exhale. I get a blessing, I exhale a blessing. I get a blessing, I exhale a blessing. Thank you, Lord. My pockets swell up, I give out, and they swell up again. I receive a word, I keep it. And I give it to another. That's kingdom. It's not just keeping in the knowledge. It's not just sucking in the gospel. You got to share it. We are the body. The body needs blood to flow. The blood of Jesus. It needs to flow. We don't want to just get in the flow. We want to be the flow. That's right. Unplug from tradition. Amen. The focus should be building the relationship with Jesus to know him for yourself. We 
if your heart, then building the kingdom for others to follow you as you follow Christ. Amen. That's the main thing. We want people to follow us as we follow Christ. Amen. Not just follow us while we're doing our own thing. Because then you'll be called a fraud. Like they say back in the day, perpetrating a fraud. It's going to make sense in a moment. It says, it is just vain worship. Whenever we worship God, it has to be in spirit and truth. Amen. Whenever I say, put your hands up, put them up, praise God, it's your personal thing. Amen. So you can touch him and, you know, experience like, man, I feel something different. You know what I mean? I, I feel a peace in this. You know, it changes atmosphere. Vain. Definition. Not yielding the desired outcome. Fruitless. A vain attempt. Lacking substance or worth. Vain talk. Excessively proud of one's appearance or accomplishments. Conceit. To not avail. Without success. Our labor was in vain. I put some stars by that. It says, uh, not yielding the desired outcome, fruitless, not to avail, without success, disrespectful manner. We don't want our worship to be vain worship. We want it to, you know, change some things. We want our meetings to come when we come together to be fruitful. To yield fruit. Amen. We want to change that. Unplug from tradition. Come on. We must expect success. We must have the desire to expect the harvest. We must yield fruit. In the church, we must yield fruit. In the kingdom of God, we must yield fruit. But we don't want to just go to church and don't expect the fruit. If not, it's just going to be vain. It's not going to yield any fruit. Amen? If you don't unplug from tradition, you will burn out. Because there's no change. How can you expect to change with vain worship? Amen. Come just come to church, but don't come for relationship. We come every Sunday so we can continue that relationship with God. Amen. We meet him every time at 12 because we got a date. We got a date with the Lord. And whenever we come, we want him to meet us here. Amen. So when we meet him there, he's ready. Amen. To go on a date. Amen. Because we're going to meet him there. It's a time. Lord, I'm going to be there. I'm going to get what I need from you. Amen. It says, where we at? Before, God, God always intends. Okay. It says, God always intends on things to grow and multiply by the proper soil, the amount of light, the water, so a seed can grow. Before a seed can grow, it has to die first. Lord. To unplug, it has to burst. Amen. Out of the seed coat. Amen. Time to get out of that shell of the norm and time to unplug. Before a seed can grow, it has to die first. That's what people don't want to do. They don't want to die to self. You want to expand. You want to grow, but you got to die to self. Meaning, I got to kill the deeds of the flesh. I can't do what I want to do because I have to die so I can grow. I got to die. I got to unplug from tradition so I can grow. He wants us to grow. He wants us to multiply. Amen. It says, after you unplug from tradition into the kingdom by your personal relationship, then you will see fruit. You will see change. Amen. Well, Pastor, Jesus knows my heart. He knows my heart. Lord knows my heart. I go to church Easter and Christmas. He know I, I go on them special days. He know that. I, hey, the Lord, I'm special to him. I come on Easter and Christmas. Come on. He was born and he was resurrected. That's all I need to do. He knows my heart. Matthew 15, 20, 10 through 20. And it says, And he called the multitude and said unto him, Hear and understand. Not that which go up into the mouth defileth the man, but that which cometh out of his mouth defileth a man. Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest that thou, uh, the Pharisees were offended after they heard this saying. It says, And he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father have not planted shall be rooted up. That's powerful right there. Anything that's not like God will not stand. Amen. It says, Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into a ditch. 15. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Declare unto this parable. And Jesus said, Are ye also without understanding? Do you not understand? Do you not yet understand that Amen. whatsoever enter the mouth go up into the belly and cast into drought? But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart that defile a man. 19. 
For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things that which follow a man, but to eat with unwashed hands defileth not a man. The heart has those things in it. So he knows your heart. Come on. The Lord knows my heart. He sure do. And we all got the same heart. Come on. So that means that's all in all. Come on. Amen. So don't just say the Lord knows my heart. Just say I'm a work in progress. Come on. And that's when you're being safe. Because he knows my heart. You're not saved yet because he knows. You know, if we look at Ferguson, that's what's going on. Adulteries, murders, fornication, thefts, false witnesses. But the Lord knows my heart. Think about this. Come on, When you're not righteous, you're going to do everything that's not of God. And if you're still in the loop, you're bogus. If you're saved. You know, don't go down there and protest and then put your mask on. <laughs> he knows your heart. Eating with not washing hands was a problem, but Jesus checked them. He said, that means nothing. The blind leading the blind. So worried about tradition, they can't see with their head. They are blind and will fall off and fall into a ditch. Come on, follow me. We got this going on. Come on, follow me. We got this going on. The blind leading the blind. What we doing, we trying to unplug you so you can see. Amen. Amen. Someone has to lead. Amen. Someone has to tell you the truth. You need a relationship with Jesus for yourself. Amen. Not just coming to a building, but, you know, what comes out of the building. Your life outside of the building tells it all. Come on. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm not going to lead you to a ditch. Come on. Your life outside of the building tells the truth of what your heart is saying. Yes. Very true. I love Jesus. I'm out the building. Last and evil days. We can't lie to you. Because if so, you're going to be going to a ditch. Come on. Your life outside the building means more to God. Amen. Kingdom eyes. We have to. Open our eyes, amen, so we can see, amen. Yeah. Unplug from tradition. When the Lord is trying to let the, the, the body of Christ and the kingdom of God know, we have to get away from the blind, leading the blind syndrome. We got to get away from just being safe. We want to continue to be saved. We want to continue to get a relationship with God so we can know what the Lord is saying in these days. Amen. If we don't have a, a connection with God, we're going to be through. We're going to be through. If you ain't praying for your family at night, I mean, you got to pray for them. You got to, Lord God, I thank you. Lord. I, I can't make it to church today, Lord God, but I thank you. Lord God, I can't do this today, but I thank you. Amen. So when you come in and we come together, you can jump right in because you've been praising God already. Saying, but it's okay. 
Because I know who my daddy is. Amen. I know what he's saying to me to say to the church. He said, no longer can the blind lead the blind. They got to come out of bondage. So we got to know what we got to do. We got to come out of bondage and we got to unplug and plug into the kingdom of God. Amen. We got to see change. Amen. We got to see change. And the way that we can see change is know that, man, this is the wrong way. I can't just do it like that. Amen. This is just not a, a part-time lover type deal. A booty call at 12 o'clock. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get my fix. Oh, I'm, I'm going to go to church today. I ain't been there about in a minute. I'm going to go to church today. It got to be a, a relationship. A relationship. I was watching this little comedian on the thing, and uh, it was funny. He was talking about relationships. He was getting mad at the booze. He was like, how you going to get mad when she taking a picture with her babe? You ain't babe, you just boo. <laughs> he said, how you going to get mad when they go to the store and they got the kids and they out to dinner? And you call on her phone saying, I seen y'all on Instagram. He said, you just boo. You ain't babe. It's a difference. We just his boo. We get mad. Why ain't getting blessed? You just a boo. That's pitiful. They all get blessed. They pockets getting fat. You just a boo. You not babe. Come on. I said, I like that. So I said, let me switch that. We trying to figure out why we can't get the blessing, but we just a boo thing. We just a booty call thing. We just want to get a blessing. Just want to get a fix. But he said, I'm looking to make you my bank. I'm looking to make you my bank. I'm looking to get you a relationship. I said, wow, that was good. It was the comedy. But I said, man, people thinking they in that position of I worship you with my heart, but you just boo. You ain't fake. He said, how you gonna be mad that's his man or his wife or his husband? You just boo. You wanna get from boo to bae. So when you come, you say, hey, babe. You say, I'll see you. You can get that thing what you know if you in covenant with someone. He wanna get you in covenant without being outside of the covenant and just boo. He wants you to make you bae. It's a relationship thing. Put a ring on that thing. A covenant. We want to get you in the covenant. We know the covenant of the New Testament is the blood. But you're just looking at the blood like, man, I really don't want to get clean just yet. You're going to stay outside and be moved. I want to be bad. I want to be bad. Hey, bad. Hey, bad, bad. Hey, bad, bad. Hey, bad, bad. The Lord want to get you in relationship. But you got to get out of that boo thing mentality. Come on, come on. I love you, Lord. No, you don't. It's my heart. No, it ain't. Because your heart is full of this, full of this, full of this, full of this. He cleans us up. Amen. Amen. Cleans up. I thank God for new grace and new mercy. Amen. Cleans us up. So he can get us in the proper relationship. So we just can't just be getting mad when we see people being blessed because they would bang. Come on. They would Jesus. They get man. So he texts me. Why you going to bless them? Then you send them back. I'm with Bay. Call you later. <laughs> I can't talk right now. Thank you, Jesus. I'm we had Chuck E. Cheese with the family. Call you about 10 at night. <laughs> you just on the low. All right. Come on. Come on. You're just a little creep. Break it down. Break it down. He want to get you in proper relationships. Yes. Once you're in proper relationship. You can get exactly what you want. Yes. Lord God, I need you right now. Yes. But when you beg, Lord God, I need you right now, then you say, he ain't hearing my prayers. Oh my but how are you going to hear somebody's prayers and you don't have that proper connection yes. with the Jesus. source? Yes. Because you just a boo thing. Yes. Yes. Got to unplug from tradition. We have to be in covenant with God. So when we come, say, Lord God, I need this. Stuff happens. Go to God. When we come together and we all base. It can happen. Amen. But if we come together, there's a couple of little moves. It don't take all that. <laughs> Go to God. It don't take all that. I just don't know. <laughs> we got to get from that mentality. That's church. That's just coming on Easter and Christmas. 
Lord. You ain't going to have the full time with him because you can just come at certain times. But it's open to everyone. Amen. Whenever you come to the house of the Lord, you should feel safe. You should feel peace. You should feel better. Because it's something that's going to change your mind to get unplugged from whatever you've been going through in your life. Right now, it's so much going on in this region. Amen. You should run the church. Amen. Amen. You should run the church. Say, I'm sick of being bait. I need to be, I mean, sick of being bull. I need to be bait in a relationship. So I don't got to worry because I'm looking through kingdom eyes. Whatever's going on around me does not matter. Whatever my bank account look like, it doesn't matter. Amen. Whatever my clothes look like, it doesn't matter because I got a relationship. Amen. I got a relationship so I know what he can do for me. Because now I can talk to me like, hey, come on, I need some shoes. Babe, <laughs> now you know it's going down at the job. Don't worry about it, baby. I got you. I would never leave you nor forsake you. Glory to God. I would never leave you nor forsake you. I'm not like those other people that broke your heart. I'm better than that. I'm here for you. I died for you. I shed my blood for you. Amen. Now you know, hey, I'm in a relationship. I got a title on a thousand hills. The enemy comes masquerading as life. Oh God. Angels oh. of life. He trying to make us say, well, I know I can't give you everything, but I give you something. <laughs> you ain't got to mess with, with me. I'm your fool. I'm going to give you a little blessing. I'm, I'm going to give you a little something. You got to make sure you got that relationship. You got to make sure you got the number. So he answered when you call. Lord God, I need you. I'm here. I've been having you the whole time. Amen. I had your back the whole time. We got to make sure we in a relationship. Amen. So he can answer our call. Answer so we can be safe. Amen. And then from safe, we can be saved. And then from that, that's when you get others saved. So now they follow the leader as we follow in Christ. Amen. So now we're just pulling everybody out of the ditch. We don't want you to go in the ditch. Relationship. Changing your relationship, amen. Putting your relationship in his hands. Because Boo will always be calling. You're going to be asleep. That's why you got to turn your phone on silent. Thank you, Jesus. you be asleep. Look and see you, baby. You know what I'm doing. Like, oh, man. Turn it off. You don't, you don't want it. Where your phone at? It's dead. It really is. Because you don't want Bay to know about Boo. Calling you. You ain't got to go to church today. You ain't got to go to Bible study. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on. You'll be all right. You don't need no relationship with God for real, for real. I'm all you need. I'm all you need. You see, I don't bless you. Come on. But we got to know. Praise the source, Lord. The blessing and the curse. Yes. A boo can only give you a blessing for so long because that blessing is going to turn to a curse. Yes. But your bait is the source. Yes. And that's what he said. Yeah. He said, a boo you Lord. is supposed to just Come get on. your nails done. Get your feet done. Yes. Amen. Just take you somewhere. But bait is going to take you on vacation. Yes. He said, bait. <laughs> Because now we can see with kingdom eyes. Yes, sir. 
so we can walk, amen, and don't got to worry about a ditch, because boo, stuff we just be breaking down, yeah, I'm going to get it fixed on the 33rd. <laughs> Ain't talking about where you at. I'm coming. I'll be getting on her. Where is you at? Come on, Pastor. I'm at Snooks. What part of Snooks? I'm just at Snooks, baby. Where at? Go to God. Come on. Right, right. We want to know precisely where are you so we can give a blessing to you. Amen. We want to know exactly where you at so I can give it to you. The Lord has a blessing here, but if you ain't here at 12 o'clock, he's going to miss you. Amen.
In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. amen. We thank God for uh, what's going on in this region. Amen. The Lord is doing the shaking so people got to see that he's real. Amen. amen. Uh, I gave a word on my birthday how it was going to be a new beginning in the St. Louis region. Amen. So we got to watch and listen to what the Lord is saying. Amen. 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 Uh, he gave me a word for Ferguson of what Operation Ferguson was meaning. Amen. In an acronym. It says Operation Ferguson. Fight, fighting for eternity. Amen, amen. If you guys been wanting to sow seed into the ministry or, or give us a donation, amen, you can do so. You can go to slugroo.com and hit up the donate button and that go straight to our PayPal. But also, there's a new app on your phone called Givelify. Yeah, Givelify. If you download that app, Givelify, you'll be able to, to sow seed to us or give us a, a, a seed of appreciation or anything you like to do, amen. So check us out on Givelify. And our church is New Beginnings Outreach International, Alton, Illinois. You'll see me and my wife's face on there, and you'll see our phone number, and address, etc. You can give as much as you want. Amen. So tell a friend and tell a friend. Hey, we're going to give to New Beginnings Outreach International on Give a Five. Download the app. Amen. See you soon. Peace. Hey, check us out on the web. We have a Facebook page. Check us out on Facebook page, facebook.com. MBOI Alton. On there you can find a lot of updates. You can check out all our videos. We post up good inspirational things. People review. Hey, check us out on Facebook. Facebook.com MBOI Alton. Like our page. Don't just stop there. Check us out. Sluggeroo.com www.sluggeroo.com S-L-U-G-G-E-R R-O-O Dot com. On there, you can watch our live services at 1205, right there, live services. You can check out what we're talking about in our church, calendar, etc. You can also book Slugger Rule and Lady Rue to come to your church and minister through the ministry of their gospel rep. Have my Twitter feeds on here, YouTube, all our videos. Beautiful picture of me and my wife. Tune in. God bless.